And now, here are all the secrets of our tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, we started out with the new X rods. This one here happens to be the six weight, nine foot rods. And this one here is the 10 foot, uh, five weight as well. A great chronometer stick. Uh, the reels we paired them up with today are Islander reels. This one happens to be the uh, IR3, and this one is the LX3.2. And Brian, line selection and leaders and stuff and flies. So for your rod, uh, Mike, uh, fishing the deep line and stripping fast, we've got the Cortland Type 6 yep. full sinker. Got a nine foot uh, Cortland Climax leader, leader, climax yeah. leader on there, ending in four X or six pound. Yep. And then we're fishing those uh, either boobies or egg sucking leeches or fast stripped woolly buggers, things like yep. that. Yep. And on this line, we've got the Cortland uh, floating Dynatip line, weight forward five. Yep. We've got a 15 foot leader on here, ending in 4X, and we added more uh, leader material onto that uh, fluorocarbon yep. uh, to get to our swivel. And then 24 to 30 inches below the swivel, we, we've got some more fluorocarbon in, yeah. in 4X, tying on our chronomid pupa with a non-slip loop knot. Great, well, let's put these rods down here and then we'll show you the fly box, which is right over here. So I'll just kind of, I'll pop open the... There's probably not many left in there. No, I noticed you were doing some shopping while we were earlier. So, big selection of flies here, but we narrowed it down pretty quickly. We decided that we were going to do some searching patterns and and uh, yep. and that. So we, we tied on some boobies, which we show over there, and then also some of the different chronomids that yep. we're looking at. So, so there's some boobies here. So here's the boobies. You're fishing um, um, bright orange ones, dark orange ones. We're fishing olive green ones. Yeah. Just searching patterns. But any of these leeches would have worked as well to strip yep. them faster. The water it was just to elicit an aggressive strike. Yeah. And then we started to see some chronomids when we did the we did the throat pumps of those fish, and yeah. uh, so we started with a different small pupa because that's what we saw first, and then uh, gradually we, we got into the bigger patterns, uh, the gunmetal gray ones with uh, red or black uh, rib. Uh, but what what we thought by just judging by all the swallows on the lake that we thought we were going to have a great chronomid day, because yeah. it has been good here last week, mm -hmm. but this weather's obviously yeah. uh, put the fish down and. Uh, because every fish we pump also had zooplankton in their throats. And when yeah. they have zooplankton, when they're eating zooplankton, they're not as happy as they should be. Yeah. And that's why the fast stripping uh, yeah, with the type six work. Triggered that, uh, that yeah. butt bite. And again, all these flies too, the ones that we're using today were tied by our good friend, John Kent, who does custom ties for us and oh, can do I, it for everybody yeah, else well, too. So uh, we'll show his website at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, there was a line of flies here that they're not here anymore. I, I've noticed yeah. that my box is... John ties phenomenal flies. They yeah. work. That's all you need to say. Good. All right. So again, we'll, we'll show a quick list here. So get your uh, notepad, pen and paper out here, and you can take uh, take some notes on what we've been using, and this will help you be successful out on the water as well. All tackle and gear is available at Steveston Marine and Hardware. Stay connected with BC Outdoor Sport Fishing on the web, on Facebook, and on Twitter.